Greetings from Costa Rica and welcome to Matvent Day 19. This is, without comparison, the most important day of Matvent, which are the 25 days from December 1st to December 25th. Today, my wife, Anne-Marie, is celebrating her birthday and we are down in Playa Coyote having fun as a family, really celebrating and honoring Anne-Marie. My subject today is precisely the importance of having somebody like her in your life if you want to make a huge leap in moving to Costa Rica. And specifically, I want to go on and on about just how important having her with me through this adventure has been. Let's look back to 2008 through 2010, first of all. I lived here for two years as a Peace Corps volunteer in a little village. I had a great time. I was actually by myself while Anne-Marie and I were sort of on and off and doing a long distance relationship. We had dated for two years in college but the long story short is that by the end of Peace Corps, I knew very clearly that I wanted to marry Anne-Marie. I moved back to the U.S. at the end of my Peace Corps stint in 2010, asked her to marry me about four months later, and then in the following April, on the 29th to be precise, showing that I can recall from memory my anniversary, uh, we got married in 2011. Anne-Marie and I moved back to Costa Rica first to manage a watershed organization. I had this position as the executive director and sole employee and really first ever full-time employee of this uh, nascent organization called Restoring Our Watershed. As part of running this organization, I was offered a whopping $24,000 a year in compensation for which I was expected and actually I was more than happy to work full time sort of as the nonprofit director for this US nonprofit operating here in Costa Rica. It was a dream job and I essentially had two years of funding to start then figuring out how I would fund the organization go, going forward. Well, of course, I did not organize anywhere near the fundraising that we needed after only two years. And essentially, after my first two years of funding ran out, I was relying on a variety of benefactors, some very small jobs here and there, and all kinds of different projects to try and keep things together. And this is the first time in my life, I think, when I realized just how important having a partner in life to face difficult, nervous moments can be. There were many months where we weren't exactly sure where the organization's funding was going to come from next quarter. And here I want to mention that I actually did have an incredible benefactor family. I always am so grateful to the Raps for helping us so much and everything always worked out because of their generosity. At the time, it was not exactly, you know, having a year-long position or understanding, uh, having a salary with benefits and everything taken care of. And there were a lot of nights where I was worried about what the heck we were doing here in Costa Rica and how we were ever going to make a living. Anne-Marie came down to Costa Rica not only 100% gung-ho, I mean you've never seen someone drop what she had in Indianapolis. This was a promising career at a growing company. She was being offered stock options to stay at Angie's List. She was also being offered a director of operations position or she had gotten that prior to leaving. But she dropped that, moved down to Costa Rica and then immediately threw herself into this lifestyle where we had virtually nothing, you know, $2,000 a month where we were paying three to $500 a month in rent because we had friends giving us great deals. Uh, I was paying three to $500 a month to, to maintain my vehicle and put gas in it. 
probably about the same amount, $300 or a little bit more on groceries. So we're already up to $1,000 to $1,500 just to feed ourselves and move ourselves around, let alone all the other expenses that come into life. You fly home to the United States twice a year. Anne Marie started doing data entry at times. She started doing property management at, you know, she built up a huge property management business when we really needed the money. She also just learned Spanish by listening to her surroundings, really just latching on to what she heard, replacing her French knowledge with that Spanish knowledge, and today she has 100% functional, nearly absolute fluency in Spanish just because she threw herself into this project. There are a lot of people out there who either move down to Costa Rica by themselves or they move down to Costa Rica with partners who do not put up this extraordinary effort like Anne Marie did. I mean, I've got pictures of her. I, I will not find them you know, shoveling the SHIT off of our goat shelf to fertilize our fruit trees. You know, even in the rain, this woman absolutely came with me on this adventure from the start. And all of those nights where I lie awake thinking, oh my gosh, what have I done with my life? I've got no income and no idea how to find more. On and on and on, thinking I'm just gonna move back to the US Anne-Marie was always there to help me come up with a plan, come up with concrete steps that we could take that actually made a difference, and to always keep my head level. So on your 40th birthday, love you so much, Anne-Marie. Thank you so much for helping me be Costa Rica, Matt. I would not be who I am today without the single most important person in my life. Love you.